Hey friends and welcome. It's Dr. Heather here live from Kansas City Life My Home and I am here with Pam. Just Pam. <laughs> That's right. It's just Pam and we've had a super fun making a snow day and we're going to show you what we made today. So I haven't baked since I've been in my new house like really really keto baked but I want to give you a little bit of backstory here with my friend just Pam. We've been friends for I don't know 15 years. I'm trying to think our kids were like 14 years old and they're 28 now. 14 years. Yeah, that's about right. 14 years. So not in 2015, I know Pam's over here. We can't get us both in the camera. So hey, I Justin, believe. good to see you all the way from across the pond. So in 2015, right after my accident, Pam was so kind and dear and said, what can I help you do? And I said, I need some fat bombs. I need some waffles. She's like, okay. I'm like, but not just any waffles. I need some keto waffles. So I gave her a recipe and off to baking she went. And fast forward, a couple years later, Pam continued to bake for me. My health continued to get better. Pam continued to lose about, I don't know, 20, 40, 60, 70, 90 pounds as she fast forwarded and continued her journey towards better health. But such a dear person to say, I don't really get this, but I'll bake whatever you do. I'll make whatever you say. I don't understand this fat concept, but I'll do it because you ask. And that's the best thing about friends is that they just ask without questions. They ask without reservations. They serve from their heart. And that's what Pam did back in 2015. So my uh, family's all back at their own places. My husband's gone for the weekend as I shared he's out hunting. So good luck to him. It is a snow day. We're having a girl's day. And we said, what do we do? Do we go out to eat? Do we watch a movie? No, we bake. Hey. We make bagels. That's we great. made two waffles. And we had a super fun day. I actually pulled up an entire page of recipes. You know when you like go to the grocery store hungry and you want everything? Well, that's what happens when you have it baked for a while. You're like, where do we start from? What do we make? So, true. so I am going to turn the camera around unless Pam wants to say anything. And I'm going to have her show you what we made today. But first of all, if you've ever made a chew waffle, put it down here. If you love waffles, drop some hearts. Um, if you don't like waffles, just say, I don't like waffles. Um, but if you do love waffles, put a waffle down, put some hearts down. These aren't all regular waffles, though. These just, are not you know. just regular waffles. Yeah, and let me know where you're joining from. Christina, hello from Kentucky. Lori, where are you watching from? Heather Stein, nice to see you. And so Pam has done a new twist on the Everything But Bagel Bagels. So if you go to our YouTube channel, which is Ask Dr. Heather, you're going to see Pam baking a bunch of bagels, baking a bunch of other waffles. But today, we really mix it up. I wanted to say true to the dairy-free concept. And she frowned and showed me. I actually went to Target and bought some different... Um, um, dairy-free options which we can grab those so most of the chihuahuas call for dairy so I actually found two different ones I was proud of myself I went and got soy co which is made of potato starch tapioca and the conjunct root which is what miracle noodles are made from also got diet cream cheese which is tapioca also a little potato starch a little bit of coconut flour Pam said wait hold on you have not been to Costco for a while you're missing out girlfriend because they have a super big bag of veal life and veal life is actually the same thing potato starch coconut oil um, it's got a little bit of palm kernel oil in it a little bit of lactic acid this is paprika um, potato and a little bit of cornstarch so it still has a little bit of grain in there and they do have a little bit of carbs because they're using grain but it is dairy free which is exciting because a lot of these recipes you find you can't use the great thing is oftentimes when you're doing dairy free keto baking it gets dry because there's no fat in there you know cheese makes it nice and fat and gooey but these baked it amazing. It used to be when we made the, the bagels, you only had to use craft. It's the only one that worked. And yes, we'll drop recipes down below, so hold on. But I'm gonna let Pam tell you how she made these because we used all veal life today. And then the uh, Makayo cream cheese out of cashew. Um, can you... I'm gonna grab that, sorry. Nice picture, <laughs> sure, nice close up <laughs> picture there. This is a cashew cream cheese that again, I just pulled out of the refrigerator an hour before we used it, so it's nice and gooey and soft, so you can use that as well, because most recipes do call for cream cheese, but we also made a Wonder Bread, which we have a new love, and I'll let Pam show you that. So, anything else you wanna add, Pam? Oh, you guys are in for a treat. <laughs> she said, oh, you're in for a treat. I know I talk loud. Um, actually, she usually talks loud. I'm not 
Talker. She's not a loud talker. So we're going to start. First of all, let me just show you this. Look at what we did today. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we had some waffle irons going. So Pam, let's start with this one right here. What is this? This one's the Wonder Bread and it is uh, mayonnaise, egg, water, almond flour. Baking powder. That's it. Baking powder. Yeah. No almond flour? Almond flour, okay. mayo, water, baking powder, egg. That's it. And what was your scale on zero to 10? 10 being fabulous. 10, it's fabulous. It really is very good. No eggy taste at all. It was delicious. I highly recommend trying this one. I know it sounds kind of weird with the mayonnaise, but it was very good. So give people some ideas of how to use it. Um, you know what? You can do an open, open face sandwich. You can do a burger. You can do, you know, cheese and <clears throat> egg salad. You can do anything, tuna salad. You can do pretty much anything you want. And they toast up, I bet, really great in the micro or in the uh, toaster oven as well. And so then you can toast your sandwich and do like a melt of some kind yeah. with your, you know, Kobe Jack shreds. Um, and, and then next one over, this one is a peanut butter one. Um, <laughs> and, and it's a little odd. It didn't have enough peanut butter in it the first time we tried it. And they are not very pretty. So okay, so I'm going to ask questions. So, Kim, um, we're just going to put them in a freezer bag. So just put them yes. in a, however you normally freeze or store things. Remember, it's egg and almond flour. So they're going to stay in the fridge for a couple of weeks um, or the freezer for three to six months. So regular freezer, three months, deep freeze, six months. Um, I'm going to answer questions. So go ahead and I will. The So, Heather, anytime you guys are making a recipe, when people ask what the macros are, you need to take the whole recipe write out what the macros are and then break it down. So if you take the recipe and you make six waffles because you have a bigger waffle maker, or if you make 12, you're just gonna have to do the math yourself. So, hey, Kira, look what we made today. You should have been here, friend. So just break it down yourself. Are you still eating? Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us, about, I'm gonna hide this one. So tell us what we have here. So this one is peanut butter, cream cheese, egg. That's it? That's it. And you could use any nut butter. You could use sun butter. You could use almond butter. You could use macadamia nut butter. That's what I'm snacking on. It's delicious. It is we put so good. Chips in the middle. Yum. And so then we actually did a little Wonder Bread and put some blueberries in here. But mm -hmm. if you saw the other side, it looks like, oh, that looks really good. So put a few blueberries in there. You could definitely freeze that, pop in the toaster. And the blueberries were caramelized to give it some sweetness. And there's only Yum. a few in there. So the next row, we perfected. This one, we perfected the peanut butter. Added a lot more peanut butter because we realized we only added half as much as we needed in this one. Could it be we and were talking too much? Never. Kara, we'll get the recipes posted. <laughs> And then, so for this one, it was two tablespoons of peanut butter. Nope. Two. Four. Four tablespoons of peanut butter. Uh-huh. Two egg. Two cream cheese. Gotcha. Okay. But the secret that made it not look ugly like that, and see how pretty these are, is that we melted, or not melted, warmed up the cream cheese and the peanut butter a little bit and mixed them together and added just a little bit of water to kind of soften it. And then we added egg that had already been beaten. And it, I just used a whisk and they came out beautiful. Look how pretty they are, they yeah. so pretty. And then this next one is the perfect chaffle or chwaffle or whatever you call it. <laughs> and then um, this one, we also added some, you know. Uh, chips. Chips to the middle. If you can add them to the middle, they don't kind of burn. If you add them on the outside, they tend to you know, burn yeah, just and we're a touching bit. everything. So this is a classic, typical, normal, traditional chihuahua, which is almond two, flour. Uh -huh. Yeah, two, two, and two. So go ahead. Right. Two tablespoons of almond flour, two tablespoons of mozzarella cheese, two tablespoons, and it's the diet cheese. And then two tablespoons of um, cream cheese. Cream cheese? Yeah, and an egg. And an egg. Yeah, we'll post a recipe as we're going from memory. And then this is where a little crafty you get to get creative because you can do anything with these dough or recipe. Remember, you can these can be breakfast, they can be lunch, they can be dinner, they can be a dessert. You can do anything you want with them. You can, again, like she said, put in a burger. Or you can put pulled pork, egg salad, chicken salad. Again, dessert, ice cream, however you want to do it. Caramelize, make a taco, put Italian seasoning in them and have a little pizza, whatever you want to do. Anything. So this one is all the same recipe, which is the low carb Maven bagel recipe, but 
using the Colby Jack shreds, which is the vegan, vegan. cheese instead of regular mozzarella. And what I love about this is when you heat it up with the cream cheese, it's a very nice smooth mix and it's super easy to incorporate the almond flour, baking soda or baking powder, and um, egg. It incorporates really, really easily. Okay. And then I just use a cookie scoop. Um, it's in the top of the dishwasher. That thing is the Pampered Chef one. It's a totally. Yeah, let's see, this one. That's the size scoop that I use to get these little ones over here, okay? Which, you know, one is probably not necessarily enough for a sandwich. You could do an open face sandwich if you want and just put your meat and cheese or salad or whatever on top of it and it works. I have done it. Um, you can also cut them in half and do the same thing. Or if you use two scoops together, which is what these little waffle ones are, we did um, one scoop we put bacon bits in the middle and then another scoop on top and put them in our little waffle irons. And so it worked really, really well. Somebody's asking, where did you get your waffle iron? These are Dash waffle irons. Yeah, and I the hers are Dash. I got mine for Christmas last year for my mother-in-law and I just bought another one at Target. So they range anywhere from $9.95 to $12.95. You can pick them up at any big box store. You can get them on Amazon. So I did, my thing is, I mean, they're, they're all about the same. They are, they are. So um, this is just the standard recipe, but then I also added a little over a tablespoon of everything bagel seasoning, which Yum. is always delicious. And so this last one, this is a heat and serve sausage. It's fully cooked and it's two scoops. So I just did a scoop on the bottom, set the sausage down in the middle and scoop on top. And we baked them for 12 minutes at 400 and you have a little breakfast sandwich. So that is, a, yep, that is an Applegate turkey uh, sausage, which are nitrate free, MSG free. You get them in the freezer section at the health food store or at the grocery store. It's not the Jimmy Dean with all the processed stuff in there. So you again, you can put them in the freezer. Kids will love these. You can grab and go. It's a great snack. I would probably guess to say, again, these are about probably 70 calories. But again, when you're doing a recipe like the one Pam made, Add up all the ingredients, look at your bag, because if you have three or four different types of, and we did an Instagram story on this, you can pop over to Instagram and look at our story we did earlier. We showed the three different types of almond flour. You wanna add up your total ingredients and then divide it by the number of um, things that you make out of it. So if you end up making like 12 waffles or 10 waffles, then that's where you're gonna get your calories and macros from. So this was a double recipe and it did 36 single scoops. Good to know. So, um, because it's supposed to make 12 full-size bagels, 12 full-size bagels. Yeah. And we, I do have a picture. So if you hop over to YouTube on Ask Dr. Heather under keto baking, um, you'll see that Pam actually doing the full video of making the keto bagels and what they turn out like rolling them, how you make them in the shape of a bagel. So we have a whole video over there and I'll actually post that YouTube video down here below. But any questions for Miss Pam before we jump off and go have a girl's night and watch a movie, but thought we'd just show you some fun things and we will post all recipes um, throughout the rest of the day. We'll take a picture of each one, but Pam, you your favorite today, this is kind of hard because... Well, these are my all-time favorite all the time. But for today, new and different, I said the Wonder Bread was my very favorite because that's brand new and delicious. But this peanut butter is a second. I mean, they're like right in there because that is new and different. And what a yummy... <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed it. These, you can do anything with them, obviously. I agree. And I love that. This would be more of a sweet dessert or a breakfast or something like that for sure. Whereas that, you can make it your lunch or dinner or whatever. And the same with these perfect chocolates. You can do anything with them add anything. If you want to add a little bit of vanilla and some chocolate, do it. If you want to add, you know, and a little bit of sweetener even, or if you want to make them savory and do Italian seasoning and make a pizza bagel or a pizza waffle or whatever, Yum. you can do that. You can add whatever you want to these plain ones, which is awesome. 
or you can add whatever sweet stuff. You yeah, and a lot of a lot of times, like the keto bread, just that are super eggy. And I love that these we have two no, or three no that don't have any cheese. We made them dairy free um, with using the veal life cheese. Again, we had an option for the cream cheese. The peanut butter doesn't have any cheese in it. The wonder is just mayo. So yes, that is dairy, but you can also get a vegan mayo. So if you want to do a vegan mayo, you can do that as well. So yes, super excited. We're going to bag these babies up, but wanted to share all this super fun stuff with you all. So you guys have an amazing, amazing Saturday and we will see you later. Thanks again, Pam, for all your help. Give her big hearts, big kisses. Um, yeah, pull yours out, Terry, and get that iron going. We actually were going to make a um it was called a jalapeno to waffle which had cheddar cheese bacon and diced jalapenos i actually had some jalapeno jelly i was going to stick in there there's so many variations you can do with this I, I got on pinterest i should stay away but basic stuff again put them in the freezer pull them out get them when you need a hankering for something but make sure you count them in and you don't go crazy with them uh because again they're still calories they're a nice healthy fat and uh good for you so one extra thought Yep, ma'am. I kind of am wondering if you have one of those Pizzelle irons, if you couldn't do a Pizzelle, the real thin. Oh, yeah, make a flat bread. And make a flat so that you can make some kind of a wrap of some sort. I'm wondering if you couldn't do that with these. Well, I mean, you could do a crepe. That's, well, this is a little harder to make a crepe out of, like, Because it's too thick. But a Pizzelle, if you have something like that, that does the real thin, like, waffle-like thing. Yeah. That might work, I don't know. Like the but Belgian waffle. Thought. Yeah, for sure. If anybody's tried that, drop it down below. Drop a picture down below. And if you go and make a chihuahua this weekend, please drop your pictures down below. Tag us in it. We'd love to see what y'all are making. And we're having a snow day here. So we're going to, again, get this bagged up and we're going to start a movie. If you got a movie suggestion for a girl's flick, please drop that down below. And good to see you all. This is Pam and Heather from Kansas City saying have a good night. Bye-bye, friends.